Welcome back to the Sound for More channel. It's Leo speaking. Today I have the pleasure to introduce you to FM Synthesis inside TerraPro. Before I continue, I would like to remind my viewers to subscribe as it helps with growing the channel. Thank you very much. Additionally, if you would like to participate in the giveaway and have an opportunity to win this fantastic latest in-app um, in purchase, then please do follow the instruction contained in the video description. Okay, so TerraPro is already a fantastic synth and there is no doubt um, about that. Um, it has an amazing quality of sounds and uh, it has already a fantastic selection of engines. But that is not enough. So if you click here on the preset, you go up. So you can select different banks. You, now you have the selection of, uh, of FM7 for um, FM synthesis. Indeed, this is the latest addition that has been added to TerraPro. Of course, uh, you need to actually purchase it through the shop, as you can see, that uh, has already been applied. And here you can see the um, expansion of uh, the particular module, which contains the FM synthesis. And the sound is really amazing. It's a reproduction of what uh, the original hardware was. <laughs> As you can see here on the top left, you have the um, possibility to actually load the different cartridges with different presets. And you, yes, you can also import them, which I will create a dedicated video for that. So that's fantastic news because, of course, you have a lot of different cartridges that you can load and you can find them on the net uh, quite easily. The interface and controls uh, are pretty uh, straightforward. It's uh, a six FM operator, of course, and it has uh, some additional features, of course, as you would expect, because uh, um, it is actually created as a um, FM synthesis inside TerraPro. Uh, for example, here, you if you click on Mark 1, you have this ability to go for high res, um, for high resolution. As it says here, it's a modern engine with same sound as Mark 1, but much less digital aliasing. So where Mark 1 is the original um emulation of the hardware from 1983. <laughs> And you can hear the uh, original FM uh, synthesis characteristic, so it's pretty good. Of course, pay attention to that uh, uh, volume, and uh, otherwise it will pick. Well, you can see up here. Of course, you can act on oscillator sync as well if you would like to have the same phase for all the oscillator or not. You can transpose here by semitones, you can change the pitch modulation sensitivity, and then one of the operator will be uh, configured in a loop so you can set the feedback level here. Uh, in the middle here, you have um, controls for your brightness, your attack, your sustain, your decay, but also your amplitude, uh, modulation sensitivity for the carrier, for the modulators, your velocity sensitivity here. And then, of course, here you have um, LFO uh, or low frequency oscillator um, settings, so your speed, your pitch modulation, your amplitude. Uh, modulation of course if you want to introduce a delay change the waveform and do an LFO sync as well here on the top you find also additional um, settings for uh, using your uh, 
good external controllers right your hardware so you have some performance control related setting and interestingly you have also these uh, um, envelope uh, bias here control which allows you to actually change the setting for the envelopes for each of the operator which is really useful <laughs> It's really a fantastic sound and uh, there is no doubt um, the emulation is really great. Let's try guitar. Again, if you used the original hardware, of course, you might remember some of the preset and definitely some of the sounds from those presets. Let's try a few more presets. Um. Now, you also have an editor. If you click here on the symbol here, which shows the algorithm, then it opens up again. And here you have the selection of the uh, algorithms, and then you can select each of the operator. And of course, you can adjust the different um, envelopes, the course, the find, the tuning. You can set it on ratio or fix, of course. And then you can adjust again uh, corresponding sensitiveness for velocity. A modulation amplitude, the operator level, and setting related to keyboard uh, level scaling. So, um, again, it's pretty, pretty straightforward in the way it works. If you are familiar with FM synthesis, of course, you will find it very natural to work with uh, these FM7 sy synthesis. <laughs>
Anyway, it's really a fantastic addition to Terra Pro and uh, I will create a few more tutorials very shortly. I hope you enjoyed the uh, short introduction and uh, overview of the um, in-app purchase and as always, see you next time.